Yeah, 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 yeah. no, he's like a he's a good boy all of a sudden. Saber two tiger, saber two cat. But that's what they pulled out of state from team, eh? so there was no, so there was a The Pring was a river years ago and went <coughs> down into the cat in this river. Kilometer to walk through, there and there we have to bend through tunnels, but not so bad, and we are allowed to take pictures. And before we go, you can just go through the board, you'll choose which paragraph you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> But um, I can even go back around again. Uh, I'm telling you, for me to actually mention the guy that I knew that was here 10 years ago, I can imagine. He made a big impression. So weird to walk down to the earth, eh? And um, up there where you see a gate is one of our main excavation sites. That is where they discovered a skeleton of an adult ape man about uh, five years ago. The skeleton was discovered by Professor Ronald Clark from the University of Woodwater-Strand. It is still lying up there. That is why you see they've closed off up there, but from here you can't see anything. You can't? No, it's just around the corner from the second gate to Have the left. <laughs> Mrs. Place was discovered by Dr. Robert Broom, that was in 1947, and the skull dates back to 2.5 million years. So, with this one, it is still going to take them some time uh, to dig it out completely, maybe five more years. Remember they use uh, small drills to chip away the rocks, small chisels, lightweight hammers. They don't have to use uh, what we call it, jack hammers. Yeah. <laughs> otherwise they will damage it. And rain seasons like now are buried, they are dead like we do today. They just left them like that, so when it rains, bones were washed in. That is why there are lots of fossils underground here. But up to now, we're not yet sure if it's a male or a female. I was just saying when I said he was pushed down. <laughs> They have to dig it up first, even if they can get the skull out. Uh, remember, there's a difference between a male and a female skull. The male is bigger, eh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you must watch where you stand. <laughs> Ma'am, do you know the difference? I think that the female is smaller. Smaller? Uh, I don't think so. Bigger? Yeah. Well, the brain, <laughs> the brain cavity is bigger for females. Uh, of course. <laughs> 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 they have bigger brains, brains than we do. But not only the brains count, uh, even the jaws. They have stronger ones. You know for what reason? So for talking. <laughs> 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 Yeah. 
this but already swallowed by by an owl. Oh. <laughs> owl balls. So if you can look up there's one more thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Too much information perhaps. <laughs> The long drop. Great. And then, That's so cool. Uh, this is one of the largest chain. <laughs> <laughs> there are some of the stalactites. Gosh, it does look like an elephant. Look at that. How cool. Oh, it's got an eye and everything. From people coming into the cave and breathing. <laughs> that light you guys shine out. The light? Yes. Light. Alfred, are there white worms in here? There should be worms in here, Alfred. White worms. What do we call them? White worms. White worms. White worms. There are some shrimps. Shrimp? Yes. Oh, I mean, they're shrimps. Okay, okay, what's that? You hate them. Okay. I love them. You love them. I love Can I fish you out for lunch? Can you do what? Fish me out for lunch? A couple of them out for lunch. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check when you get a fish one out. Really? So, <laughs> right right now. now. What? Okay. That's what we need to find out when you're Okay, let's just see now. Um, oh, Alfred, didn't here? <laughs> he said they do dive down here. Alfred, how deep is that again? Uh, Alligator. 45 meters. <laughs> 45 meters. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> just jump over there, James. <laughs> you are intense. <laughs> You're intense, man. You're intense, man. Alfred, what do you have there? <laughs> no way. Take it out. Without a net? <laughs> yeah, without a net. They are tight, man. Oh, no. I can't eat that. Oh, man. Did you get it? No, hang on, man. This, this is a, a big one. That's a big Where is it? Big oh, there he is. Oh, my one. word. That's a big one. Isn't it an oxymoron, a big shrimp? <laughs> that is. <laughs> and they are blind. Eh? <laughs> mm. Blind shrimp. Big blind shrimp. Oh. What is it? Why are they so blind? Because they live in the dark, there's no point. Because they live in the dark. <laughs> yeah. But they do have eyes. No more. It's just because they can use them. Put in some mineral water. Remember they feed on bacteria and this is true mineral water. And then uh, within four years, their offsprings will start losing this white color to pink. You know why? <laughs> Photosynthesis. <laughs> Female. Well, Female. <laughs> photosynthesis refers to plants. Mm. Yes. Well, it, well, you are halfway right, halfway wrong. Light sunlight? Sunlight. There will be sun yes. burned outside. Then they will use this white color. Burnt, burnt. Burnt. They will be burnt by the sun. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like you. Oh, like you. Yeah. 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 Like what you think you were saying? That's right. Sorry, Alfred. I'm sorry. And um, they will start growing bigger like normal shrimps. Now it is just because it's too dark. So they don't need eyes, they won't develop any color, and they won't grow big. 
But I wonder, man, are, are they seafood even though they can't see? Seamless food. Seamless food. Seamless food. Well, as far as I know, 